There it is. It's going to be a silver quarter. Check it out. Oh, it's going to be a barber. Silver barber quarter. It's an SLQ. I've got a quarter trifecta today. It's a seated. It is a seated quarter. And I just dug my first large scent. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so happy. No, it's a peace dollar. It's a peace dollar. That is a breastplate, eagle breastplate, folks. All right, this is going to be a cool token. Man, check that out. That's just Look at that, guys. I have never dug a U.S. plate. Ah, you got to kiss her. She's beautiful. What is it? Give me a hug. <laughs> He's hugging me. That must be good. Well, good morning. On the road again today, headed down to central Louisiana. Gonna meet up with my good friend Benjamin, known as Bayou Diggs. He has got lined up some uh, yards and some vacant lots, even an old 1880s church property. Uh, we still have the old circus grounds that we can go hit. He's got a field uh, called the watermelon patch that we may go hit as well. So he's got lots of stuff lined out for us. Looking forward. It's been a while since I've been back down here. I always look forward to coming down and digging with Bayou. And hopefully we're going to find some old coins. We're going to find maybe some tokens. Maybe some bullets in the, out in the field. Maybe some Civil War relics. There's just no telling what we're going to find. But whatever we find, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. We're going to play again Field Relic Bingo. Uh, he won the last time. He beat me, but I won the Weedy King. I've also got my Weedy King trophy, so we're going to play the Weedy King game as well. And uh, I won that one, so maybe he'll win this one. He gets to keep the trophy on this one. And maybe I'll uh, win Field Relic Bingo. I've got some surprises here. I've got uh, a giveaway at the end of this video I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to be throwing some silver out there for me and Bayou to uh, win uh, throughout the day. So anyway... We're going to have a lot of fun. I've still got about another hour of driving to go. So you guys just sit back, enjoy the ride, and I'll see you out on location. made it on location here is up? the benjamin bayou digs and did you bundle up might, might get a little rain today oh i hear you man i think it's gonna blow away it's natchitoches it was uh kind of clear it's kind of blowing out of here for the rest of the day so yeah. so we're gonna have a good time tell us a little bit what we're gonna do today oh my goodness we have permission on some of these historic yards i have at least two here i was just knocking on another to see if she would give me permission she said she'd get back to me we have this old uh, car dealership here, the show lot across the street. I've got a historic church. Uh, I've got a general store and a home and 50 acres of farm field down the bayou. So we've got a full day ahead of us. All right, man. If the rain will just hold off, we'll be in good shape, won't we? Let's make the best of it. Well, we are going to play Relic Bingo Whoa. as well. Check that out. And the Weedy King. We stand to find some today. Yeah, who's going to win the ultimate Weedy King trophy? Will it be Benjamin? He won Relic Roundup, Relic uh, Bingo last time, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I you did. And I won the Weedy. <laughs> I won the Weedy King, so I kept the trophy. That's why I have it. So maybe he'll win the infamous trophy. Let's see what it looks like with you. Oh, is that a prophecy? Let's see. We'll find out. Let's go get on the yards and let's suit up and let's see what we can find. I'm going to be digging with the mana core today. It's going to be the normal settings that I always do. I'll put them up there right beside me in case you do have a 
mana core, you can kind of use these settings. If not, use your own or use your own detector. And I just pray you find a lot of good stuff. Let's get the swinging. So, walking up to our house, I eyeballed my first find of the day. You're in Louisiana, you gotta dig some Mardi Gras beans. A Bayou's got the first good find. He's calling me over, says he's got a ring. Let's check it out. What you got, buddy? Oh, I think I got just a kind of a junky ring, but. Hey, no ring nonetheless. It's a brass ring. It might have been gold plated one time. Yeah, look at that. Well, looky there. Big 21. I thought I had it, but it was too deep for a modern zinc uh, Lincoln, so I knew I had something. Hey, you're on the board. I'm on the board. I All right. Is hey, that on the? Is, that's on the. Uh, that's on the thing, is it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're first on the relic uh, bingo as well. I'm gonna wear it for good luck. There you go, All man. Right. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm on the board with a Weedy King. Let's see what else we can get. That's about six inches deep. Bayou just came over, had a little ornamental uh, piece of uh, relic. All right, look at these big old trees out in this yard. It's gotta be something out here. So you got one, one to one on the weedy count. Well, preacher diggers two, Bayou digs one. Well, I was getting a 25 on the mana core, and that's usually a nickel. So what type of nickel is she? Let's rub it on my pants a little bit. I can't tell. I want to say it could be a V-nickel. I see stars. Let me do some cleaning up on this and I'll uh, get back with you. She's going to be a buffalo nickel. That's good. We're getting into the date range. Getting back a little bit further. This house that we're detecting was built in 1905, I believe, what Benjamin said. So that's definitely barbers, uh, v nicks buffaloes, mercury dimes as well. So let's keep get a picture and let's keep on swinging. 87, 89, 91, 8 inches deep right there, 6 inches. Beauty. All right, I'm going to hand that over to Benjamin. And we're going to live dig this just in case it's silver. Sure got a good opportunity to be. It's got the right sound, the high tone, silver tone, and it's got the right depth. Let's see if... Nope. I think it's gonna be gonna be a weedy though. Good. So that's three for me and one for you. Three to one. All right, let's get going. All right. The way it looks. You think it's silver? Let's look. Let's get together. Mm, maybe not. Yeah, yeah. That. Let me see. Is that silver, folks? I think it is. I don't know. It's it's silver. Is it? Yeah, it's silver. It's a dime. I saw it in the back. That might be seated. Look at that. That is seated. I think so. Clean it up. Here, see I got some water. See the way the front is? Yeah. With that triangular look for the bottom of the seated Liberty? Here, take that lid off. Let me, let me uh, spray it. Oh, yeah. it, don't, it won't spray. Oh, it won't spray? Uh -uh. Nice. No, it's Barber. Barber. It's Barber. We said barber. This house is 1905. All right, man. You got a barber. I'm on the board. 1897. 1897 barber dime. We're on the board with silver. All right, let's keep going, man. Congratulations, dude. You're on the board. Two for the card. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> let's keep swinging. Weedy number four. Weedy number four. Think by you is at two. Preacher Digger at four. And it's number five weedy there. Five to two. Check that out. 89, 88, eight inches deep. It's fooled me before. Let's hope this is gonna be a silver. A silver quarter. It could be a silver dime, 
but last time it was a penny. And these wheats have been ringing up weird. Benjamin just dug that barber right over there and it rang up on my detectors a 75. That's a penny. So it's kind of hard to tell in here. Hopefully this is going to be silver. Thought it was deeper than that. Could be a nail. Oh, no, there it is. That is silver. There is silver. Oh, it's going to be a barber. A silver barber quarter. Look at that. Coming in behind Benjamin. Check that out. Live dug. I'll let Benjamin get here. That's a barber quarter, dude. That's a barber quarter. Yes. Yes. Check that out. And I kissed it too, didn't I? Yeah. 1905. The year the house was built. Check that out. 1905. I don't see a mint mark. I know you guys are going to get me for rubbing that. I can't tell if it's got a mint mark. Get in focus. I don't think so. 1905. I'm on the board. Check that out. All right, let's get a picture and let's keep on going. Check this out, guys. 94, 95, 92, 8 inches deep on the conductive line. Let's get where you can see it. That glare is so bad. Here we go. What do y'all think? Is it going to be a silver? It's going to be right on the edge of the sidewalk. Right on the very edge. We've moved on down to this old house here. I'm right beside the steps, right on the sidewalk edge. Still showing something down in there. It's probably the concrete I'm picking up. No, it's, no, there it is right there. There it is right there. It's going to be another silver quarter. It's another silver quarter. And it's going to be... What do y'all think it's going to be? Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell. I think it's going to be a Washington. Yeah. It's going to be a Washington quarter. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah, there he is. There's old George. 19. Let me uh, get this thing cleaned up and I'll show you a better picture. Yeah, it's going to be a 1951 Washington Quarter. Hey, I'll take a silver Washington Quarter. I'd rather have a barber or a city, but I'll take Washington. He'll make, he'll make me happy too. All right, that's two. Benjamin's got him a barber dime. He's in the hunt for another one. So let's get a pick of this one. Let's keep on rolling. All right, Benjamin thinks he got him a weedy. So that makes how many? Three? Three. Okay, five to three. Five to three. All right, just on the other side of the sidewalk. Getting... Getting a... A good 90 91 
six inches deep just like the other one so let's see if I can't get another quarter out of this one yeah <laughs> oh let's see what this one says oh my goodness it's something big what is that gonna be oh that's just gonna be a brass cap a brass cap all right let's keep swinging well there's number six preacher digger six Bayou Digs 3. Yeah, we went to get a bite to eat for lunch. Came back over here to this Baptist church. And hopefully it's going to give up some good treasures. Benjamin just got him another weedy, so we are Preacher Digger 6 and Bayou Digs 4. And I just got a target right over there, so let's go see what that is. I see it down in the hole. It's going to be one of those old radiator things. See the glass? So. That's uh, something. I don't know what it is. I think it's part of old radiator. Alright, let's keep on going. Came over here and found this weedy right inside Benjamin's hole. Just to the left of it. So he is at four and I'm at seven or eight. I think I'm at seven. Seven to four. Working sidewalk strip, this little piece right here. I was getting a 90 95. Didn't live dig it because I've been digging so much clad. Is that going to be a ring or is that going to be a piece of pipe? I don't know. I can't tell. Let me uh, let me clean this up and we'll see what this is. Well, it's got smooth edges like a ring, but it says something Canada right there. So that makes me think it's a piece of pipe or it could be a homemade ring out of a piece of pipe. I mean, it, you can see it's, it's solid, smooth cuts. I don't know. I'm going to claim it as a ring, just so I can put it on my my relic field. Uh, well, we may not play that game now, since we're not going out in the field. But anyway, I'm going to claim it as a ring, because Benjamin found a ring. So I'm going to put it there and take a picture of it, and we'll just keep on rolling. It may not be a ring, but hey, I'll take it. Getting a 21, 22. Got a little spoon. Looks like it was silver plated at one time. But those days are long gone. Alright, let's keep on swinging. Well, it's getting a 25, 26. It's going to be a nickel. And you can see it was 8 inches deep. So it's going to be an older nickel. Or is it going to be a Jefferson? No, it's a buffalo. Another buffalo nickel. Check that out. Pretty good shape. Might get a date off of this one. But let's just keep on going right now. Put him down. And let's get a picture and keep on rolling. Well, they always say, check your hole twice. And I just did. And check this out. It's going to be a little buffalo nickel spill. Check that out. Uh-oh. Trying to go back away from me. Well, that's pretty good shape, too. All right, let's put them both on there. There's one. And there's the other one. All right, let's keep on rolling. Well, another weedy. I think that's number eight. By you, Diggs four as you can tell we moved on from that uh, church we didn't find anything but modern clad over there so we moved on to this house and bayou is back here on this other house that we have permission got a 67 and i'm thinking you know it was deep 
I'm gonna dig it anyway. Man, it popped up a big old green coin. Let's see what it is. Check that out. I didn't live dig it because I'm thinking it's gonna be a penny. What in the world? Maybe an England coin, English coin. Let me do some cleaning up on it. Could be a token. And let's see what this is gonna be. It's what I thought it was. I dug so many of these over in England. It's a one penny, large cent, 1912. So that's gonna be, I can't hold on to anything. That's King George V, 1912 penny. All right. That's not uncommon to dig those in the States because uh, they came back from the war. But that's in good shape. Better clean up better. 1912, King George V. Let's get a picture and keep on digging. I think that's number 10. Preacher Digger 10. Value Digs, I think, is 3, unless he's got some more. That's number 11. Number 11. Well, we moved on from that other place, and uh, we moved on out here in the country to this little house here, a little store from 1930s over there, and I use out in the sugar cane field somewhere. I'm just working kind of this yard, a lot of clad, a lot of toys, <clears throat> and uh, I got a 91, solid 9091 over here. It's a big round something. Let's check this out. Hopefully it's going to be something. Oh, bazinga. Oh, well, you see, even Preacher Digger doesn't dig targets all the time. He digs a lots of trash. Let's keep rolling. So here we are right on top of this house, and you can see all the brick out there. That corner is where I've been, and I eyeballed the mercury and about five wheats already. And then there's another house between here and this... Uh, this trailer just off to the probably just off to the right so we're on top of this house we're, right now we're on top of three houses in this corner yeah i see pottery i see brick all right we moved on from uh, that last location so now we're out here in the fields look at all the birds up there i hear the geese the geese oh, yeah. flying <laughs> geese. Uh, and you got a, a marble and a murk huh I got several marbles. Several marbles. Let's see your Merc. So you're spoon. you're on the board twice now. Wheat. Oh, you're on the board with the Some wheat. Kind of a key. Oh, five wheats or something. Uh oh. So yeah. it's. I may take that. Oh, look at that. Some kind of a little harness there. Yeah, that's cool. That's old. That's. There's the mercury. Neat. I'm not sure what year it is. I haven't seen it yet. I got a whole bag full of marbles. Look at that. <laughs> oh wow look at all the marbles <laughs> yeah it's an old work too it's got the circle around it so it's been worn yeah one of the wheats is a 35 so this is an old site all right let's go do some more i think that's my number 12 weedy i think benjamin's at 10 or 11 he's catching up with me now we'll do the final tally here at the wrap up benjamin's over there on the old house site i'm on an old house site in here but uh, just kind of working when you're in a field like this, for those of you that don't hunt a lot out in the fields, what you're looking for is telltale signs of like red brick, uh, pieces of pottery, pieces of glass, marbles, anything that's an indication of an old house site. Uh, we've been finding wheat pennies on top of the ground, a mercury dime on top of the ground. And here I just got an 89 solid and but in the fields, you're digging a lot of trash, too. So I'm not live digging anything because I'm digging more trash than I am good targets. But I popped this up and saw this silver tinge. Let's look at it together. There she is. Is she going to be seated? Is she going to be Barber? Is she going to be Washington? It's an SLQ! It's an SLQ! I've got a quarter trifecta today! <laughs> a quarter trifecta check that out now i need a quadfecta i need a seated out here 
Oh, let's clean it up, see if there's going to be a date on this. Oh, let's see here. Yeah, 1927. 1927. SLQ, I don't believe it. This is just crazy, man. I've never in my life dug a, a trifecta of quarters. Dimes, yes. Nickels, yes. Pennies, yes. Never quarters, though. Man. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to put all three of them out. Let's look at, look at all three of them together. Check that out. A trifecta of quarters. Now, since I'm out here in the fields, it's, it's possible that I can get a seated. All right, check that out. That is just unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm so excited. All right, let's go for the quad sector now. Here's an eyeball. A thimble. It's going to have a something, some kind of name on it. It's not going to be silver. Let's clean it up. Let's see if we can get a name off of it. It's going to be aluminum. All right, it's going to see Overeen Pro. And on the back side, it's going to say Ducts. That's D U C T S. So maybe some air conditioning advertisement on this symbol. All right, let's get a pick and keep on rolling. Benjamin has been talking all day. He's been wanting a nickel, nickel, nickel. I've dug three uh, buffalo nickels, and I got this nickel signal, kicked it up. I said, oh, he can have it. Come over here, and you can have it. Yeah. And I've dug Jefferson. I've dug buffalo. And lo and behold, it's a doggone V-nickel. I gave a, up a trifecta of nickels. 1906 V-nickel. Look at that. Well, you got a trifecta, of course. That's right. So that's right. I'm, I'm, that's stuff. right, man. I'm happy. I'm glad you. I'm glad to give that up to you. Thank you. Because there's going to be another one in here too. Okay. I'm going to live dig this one because that's a 9192 tight on the line. Right there. Let's just. Maybe that's going to be another quarter. Who knows? Let's just. See if I can get a there it is. It's gonna be a silver quarter. Check it out. Oh my fourth quarter is gonna be a Washington. Live well, dug that one for you folks. We are 1953. All right. Let's put that with the trifecta and let's keep on going. Daylight's almost gone. Wow, I know on the camera it doesn't look like it's getting dark, but it is getting dark. And uh, man, that right after that quarter, probably about 20 feet away, check this out. I dug this. Just popped it up. You know what that is? That is a barrel tap. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Nice when they hammer it in right there, stick it straight into the barrel that way. You can see the ridges. Hammer it right there, spick it right here. The valve, I mean, and the spigot. All right, let's get a picture. Let's keep going before it gets too dark. Well, we made it in from detecting last night. It got dark on us, so we didn't have time to do the layout. So I went back and did a little detecting this morning, didn't find anything. Then decided to come back up to Bayou's house and we do the layout. And the question is, who won Relic Bingo and who won the Weedy King? Last time, Bayou won the Relic Bingo, and I, I, I had the Weedy King trophy. So we're going to see who's going to do it this time. So let me spin you around. Let me show you what we got and who won the game. All right, here's Preacher Digger stuff. Here's Bayou stuff. You can see we had a really good time. And here are the bingo cards. So... We laid out silver dimes on mine, and Bayou's got some really cool, check those out. It says Bayou Digs on it. He's got his own little token now. He gave me two of them, and I'm going to plant them in the field somewhere for someone to find later. But we ended up, uh, I have 15 
things that I have found. And by you got 16. So he beat me by the number, but he also, if you look right here, he also got a bingo. He left me a glass marble yesterday, but I couldn't find it. And so I, I didn't, get, didn't get my bingo at all. So by you, you win relic bingo again, and you get a silver dime Yay. for winning. Look at that. That's Toby down there. So all right. you win again, and I have to lose again, and uh, we'll play it again next time we're together. But... Who gets the ultimate Weedy King trophy? Let's go over here. By you, where are your Weedies? Right here in the tree. There. In the I'm tree. Like so how, you got eight? Eight Weedies. Eight Weedies. All right. right. And Preacher Digger got a 5, 10, 13 minus 1. So actually 12 because I found one today I wasn't going to do. So 12. So Preacher <laughs> Digger keeps his weedy king trophy again for the second year so i can't give it away i'm the king i got to challenge plug master ford on this sometime so let me spin you around now let me show you everything that we found all right here's bayou stuff bayou how many pennies look at all the pennies he dug 67 i told him that i leave all the penny signals for him and i can keep on going for the silvers and he can dig the pennies 67 yes goodness man look at the number of dimes <laughs> And then the quarters, he got two bison. Uh, is that three? Well, that's two bucks and quarters. Yeah, two bicentennial quarters. Two bicentennial, yeah. Then he got three nickels, lots of buttons, a little valve. He got a little ring, a little art deco. Looks like a, some type of thing. He got a some a lot of a lot of pottery out there, mm -hmm. plates, toy car, gauge, some knickknacks, some valves, and don't know what that is, but that's really cool. Lots of marbles. He got him a nice buckle, very nice knife, spoon, and whatever that might be. Oh, it's a pull tab. tab. Well, you and, know what those are. And he dug a phone out in the middle of the fields. <laughs> Can you believe that? And a lighter. Yeah. But here's his good stuff. He got eight, wheats. eight Wheaties. Canadian. He's got a scent. Canadian. Louisiana tax. Token. Oh yeah, he's rich now. And this is uh, the infamous 1906 V nickel. That yeah, somebody gave up. Yeah, I gave up. Uh, I got a, four, a 1918 Winged Liberty Mercury dime and a, a 1897 Barber dime and a nice token. A nice token for free package of mints. And a star-shaped button for the top of my tree. So oh, he got him a Christmas tree. Nice Check out set. that Christmas tree. Now. Because you got the oldest coin, you get oh. another silver dime. Hey, yeah. You got that 19th century. You couldn't get there. Yeah, I couldn't get there. All right, here are mine. Can't be official in Louisiana unless you get some Mardi Gras beads. So I got some Mardi Gras. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six dollars and quarters. I got five, ten, fifteen dimes. I got seven nickels and thirty pennies. And I got a Cool looking lock there. I haven't cleaned anything up yet. Check out that. That's a good find. That's a good relic. That's a barrel tap. Toy car. I did get an advertising thimble. Got a flat button and some other buttons there. Little suspender button. My wannabe ring there. It says Canada on it. Uh, I got 13 Wheaties. Then I dug that uh, large uh, penny, one penny from England, 19, what was it, 19, was it? 1912? Yeah, 1912. I did get a triple buffalo day, triple, and check this out. Man, one of my best days ever detecting four big silvers. I've got a 1905 Barber, 1927 SLQ, a 53 Washington, and the last one out in the field was a 51 Washington. And so, there's all my finds. We had a really good time. And there's all Bayou Diggs finds. And we love playing the game. If you guys ever want one of these cards, just holler at me. Holler at the Bayou, and we'll uh, email you one. And we have one for water bingo as well. We'll retain the trophy. And as I said in my monologue coming down here, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. 
And uh, I've got all those dimes you saw there on the card. I'm going to be giving away some of them. I'm going to get two sets of five. So um, all you got to do to win, be eligible to win these dimes is just make sure you like this video, comment on this video, and share this video. And uh, next week, one week from the when, uh, whenever this video airs, the very following week, we'll be uh, doing the uh, revealing the who the winners are, and um, and then uh, we'll we'll have a lot of fun with that. There could be some other stuff I'll be giving away as well. So it's going to be five mercury dimes or five rosy mix there. So two people are going to win ten different dimes. All right. I've got one more special giveaway I'm going to be doing as well. And so, Bayou Diggs, you always invite me down. You always have me come down on your permissions, and you set up when you're back in from work and all that. And I appreciate you coming down. I mean, having me come down and get on your permissions and come in behind you and dig some uh, some great stuff like a barber. I don't feel too bad coming on your permission if I'm coming in behind you in finding this stuff and so I'd, i would feel bad if i just got on the you know first and got it and stuff but, but to show my appreciation for all the times you bring me down and let me dig this oh my. silver dollar is yours oh my thank you yeah thank you. check wow. that out oh that's so cool yeah man thank you so my much. my way of saying thank you for always bringing me down and let me get on these welcome. permissions right You're there Look at this yeah check that out toby Pretty nice, isn't it? Big yeah. as you are. Big as you are. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're welcome, man. I had a great time, and uh, we found a lot of stuff, didn't we? Uh, we? We tore it up. Man, we tore it up. We tore it up. So, here's all of our trash. That's just my trash. Bayou's got a, just as much or more than I do. And here's all the treasure. And those, first time I ever dug four quarters and a trifecta. One of my best days ever. So there's the treasure. And there's the trash. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not coming down and getting in the field or in the yards and digging stuff out of the ground and doing a layout and playing games. The greatest treasure is what's found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.